hello there, it's got my six blades. Um, and a bit of a sort of a, a run of videos here. I'm in my garage and the camera's already set up, so I thought I'd go through and show you the knife that scares me. It really does. Alright, um, at the box, this thing cut. Oh, ooh, it's pretty sharp. Um, but the problem is, even though the sheath is quite handy in the way it's designed, there's so little retention on it that upside down the knife falls out. Um, which, you know, you can live with pouch sheaves, certain uh, leeway you can give them, maybe. Um, but not when some of it is this sharp. Okay, um, a couple of times it's dropped out, I've, I made a grab for it. Because that's what you do, you know. Um, it's very difficult not to think, oh, I'm not going to make a grab for it because it'll cut me. Things drop, I go to catch them. Boom. Yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, here it is. The blade that scares me. The blade of the crap sheet, really. Hold still, Bowie Bushman. That's the thing, and then, uh, yeah, so yes, this is, this is, caught me out every time, sharp as, evil, evil sharp, Here, here's a nasty envelope, okay, that, that's two thicknesses of paper, it, it's brutally sharp, it only, I think it's two and a half mil thick, two, two and a half mil thick, Blum and grind goes right up to there, and then there's a relief edge as well. It is ridiculously sharp. Amazing steel. For, for what this is, it's tough and it's resilient. Um, I am, I haven't really messed about too much with sticking it on the end of a pole and flinging it, but you know, done a really good job of where the two bits come round, welding it or doing whatever they've done there. Because you know, there's no edges. Um, lightweight kit. Great. There's not much weight to whacking branches off or whatever. But if you had a piece of kit that was this amount of performance, it'd be quite useful. Here we stay. Blum and shape. I mean, wh what would it cost? Here I am. I'm, I'm like... Uh, uh, just makes me shudder, right? What does it take to put another piece of nylon and a snap? They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The eight, eight rivets, eight rivets. Another piece of nylon and a snap. And that doesn't happen, and that's not exposed. Okay, so this thing literally makes nerves run up and down my back is that annoying because the sheath great bit the pouch there look at that I mean why don't all cheap sheaths have a pouch on it I mean how much gear could you put in that brilliant it just needs that little bit on yes I could mess about with it and do it eventually it might make a lever one or something but in the meantime that's going out as a product <coughs> I mean, you could wear it on your belt. Fingers, right? So, why, for a little bit more investment, they couldn't make that five times safer? I don't know. As it is, the knife's pretty good, but the marriage of that and the sheath, for me, glaring omission in the design of the sheath, should have retention around there. And because of that, I'm missing out. I'm not using it because it scares the crap out of me. If I put that in my rucksack and unbeknownst to me that's happened and I'm diving my hands in, I've got to literally try and think, where's the knife? Let's get it out first before my fingers are running in and out. Not, not really fun, is it? So, this thing doesn't come out very often at all. Sad, because it's a good bit of kit. Very resilient still. It is ridiculous. Sharpest thing I've ever experienced. Okay, so that is it. The knife that scares me. I don't like holding it like this. <coughs> I 
I just I literally just don't like that feel. Waiting for it to slice through. Take my fingers off. Yeah. Goes to buy a bushel. Evil blade. 